we're talking preseason, so right. it's week one. Let's take it with a grain of salt. Like, yeah, the starters play like half a series or one series at best, if they play at all. Russell Wilson did not play against the Cowboys. I don't think he will play in the preseason. By the future, I do mean Kenny Pickett. Yeah. Um, well, you kind of have to, right? Although it depends on his his position. He's got to beat out, you know, R- Rudolph. He does. But he definitely um, – he, he looks good today. He did play um, – they played in their preseason game. He played the second half, all of it. Yeah. He looked good. Now, the fans base, they love the guy. He had, like, his high school team there, like the marching band from Pitt. <laughs> like, it was a – it was – you would have thought it was a playoff game. There, He threw – his first pass he threw out to the flat, which is a pass that you would rarely miss. Right. And – the fans are waving the terrible towels. <laughs> like, wow, they're already telling him from a flat throw? And it wasn't even for a first down either. It was just a completion. Yeah. Well. So he's he's very much, the fans are, like, already thirsty for him to start. Then it's his to, for the taking. All he, all he has to do is play good. There you go. He'll be a god. So here we go. Kenny Pickett. And again, preseason against backups. You know the deal. Right. So we got 13 for 15. That's so two bad. incompletions. 95 yards, two touchdowns. Mm. Um, and a, one of the touchdowns was on a 75-yard drive to close out the game. Okay. So there's that. How did um, Trubisky do? Trubisky threw, threw seven, completed four, one touchdown, 63 yards. So not too bad. And again, yeah. he looked good. Um, uh, <laughs> I have said it, but I have to say it again. <laughs> it's preseason. Right. <laughs> can't. We can't overreact. Of course. Like, don't, <laughs> don't like, oh, the Super Steelers won the Super Bowl. Um, yeah, stats well, we're mean about someone... absolutely nothing in the preseason. It's nothing to be overblown. Um, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I've cut you off. Oh, I was just saying, while we are talking about rookie quarterbacks and preseason, um, Desmond Ritter, who is with Atlanta, he also looked pretty good in his opener. Is that the guy from Cincinnati? Yeah. Okay. So he's That's behind good. Mariota right now, but he definitely um, he also had like a game-winning drive for a touchdown too. So yeah, him and Pickett. Pickett does look good. I'll be honest. When like just how he throws the ball, he looks good. Um, Ritter, he also looks pretty good. He makes quick reads. Um, Listen to you. <laughs> 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 He's one of... <laughs> 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 he makes those quick reads. Scat, scat, scat right there. <laughs> you should watch him throw one of those banana routes. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Uh, like he hits the guy right in stride on those banana routes. All right, just make sure your email <laughs> history's set. Uh, but yeah, they, I mean, they both look good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not an expert or anything, but sure. I think yeah, I can, Ritter uh, Ritter was kind of like my low key favorite uh, favorite quarterback coming out of the draft. He was, he was my Dak Prescott. Yeah, it's definitely... It'd definitely be interesting. I mean, the Falcons are high on Mariota for some reason. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so, I don't know if he starts this year or sees the... 
he might see the playing field through injury, but um, yeah, it'll be nice to keep an eye on him. Another quarterback that everybody seems high on, he's uh, Trey Lance. Oh, just throwing. Okay. Which uh, Trey Lance is the 49ers, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 49ers. He's he's gonna be starting this year. They just um, like they abandoned Garoppolo. Like a bad habit, didn't they? A quarterback. While we're talking about quarterbacks, there was one rookie quarterback who did not look good this preseason. Oh. Although he did have one moment that everybody's just blowing out of proportion. That quarterback is Malik Willis, of course. Oh. No. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, everybody's blowing, and by everybody, I mean, like, you turn on, like, Skip and Shannon and Sports Center and the NFL Network. They're all like, oh, this was like a electric run. Uh, and it's just a run where, like, I mean, it did look good as a run. He made every, <laughs> it, you know, he made everybody look slow. Right. So I'll give him that. Like it, everybody looked like they were standing still. But, but after the game, his coach said he took him out of the game because he wouldn't throw. Which is, you know, the number one job of a quarterback. quarterback should should be focusing on. So that that run don't mean a hill of beans if he got benched for not following orders, you know? Yeah, and I definitely didn't hear about the benching thing. Um, but again, that's why I'm saying it was just that that one moment was blown out of proportion <laughs> and overshadowing yeah. everything. And benching might be a strong term. It, it is preseason, so... It might have just been a rotation thing where they just rotated somebody else in. Because um, benching, benching suggests that his level of play warranted being taken out of the game. From, from what it sounds like, he did, he did decent, but uh, he's a quarterback. And from what I understand, he, he had the same issue in college where he would hesitate to throw. 